We just together as a family discovered through my genius, my unparalleled, unrelenting flavor that salt couldn't even enrich because it is the richest shit. Genius! Discovered that platypuses and echidnas are the same, they're part of the same family. They're both monotremes. <laughs> Genius TM. And the hour is rolled over. Future Pale, delete the YouTube channel. Delete all of it. Just get rid of it. Ban everybody from your YouTube now. Okay, alright. Perfect. We're in the Farrier Shockwood once again. <laughs> I don't know, man. You've been watching my old The Dishwasher Let's Play, and I don't think I like it. I don't I don't think I like it at all. Where I'm just like, I'm the dishwasher. Ugh. Oh, I'm I'm a sad mad guy. This is this is the voice I decided to do. And then like in the next video I'm like, Ugh, I'm a deeper version of that, but I still sound stupid. And then eventually I just kind of settled on the max where I'm just like, Julie, don't listen to Mr. Gone. No. <laughs> I didn't know what I was doing. I had no idea. I didn't know what to do. I still don't know what to do. To this day, the dishwasher has been done for like 11 years. I still haven't put the dishes away. I had a dream last night that Guilty Gear Strive came out and Slayer was the last character that they announced so that I could have my precious main back in the new entry to my favorite fighting game series. Thank you very much. And I was so excited to tell somebody who plays with me about it. And, uh, and then I realized it was all a lie. Aw, oh, thanks, Valis. Welcome to the stream. Hey, you know what? Papa Beatloaf, D Kitty, Some Slytherin, Valis77, you are all the kings and queens today. I'm so happy you're here. I really am. I appreciate it big time. Big fat appreci. All right, so we want to go back to the one concern. Strive was not canceled. Don't you, don't you dare. Don't, 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 don't. Don't do that to me. All right. There's some lines you just don't cross. There's some lines you don't crisscross. Remember crisscross? <laughs> Remember, guys? Ah, shit. How do I get back up? Eh. No? I gotta... Alright. I didn't... How have I hamstrung myself already? Well, let's just, uh... Let's just do it the way, uh... The way it was intended, I guess. This isn't even the correct way to go. <laughs> what now? Alright. Yeah. I just... Alright, so, um... <clears throat> it's, uh, it's, it's, you know, it's, it's... Welcome to the stream, everybody. <laughs> welcome. Welcome to Iconoclasts. The stream that, that Rome was built on. Boy, oh boy. It sure... What, oh, God. This, this has been the best day. How have you guys doing? <laughs> what, what's been... What's been going on? Tell me a story. Tell me a story about yourselves. Here's the fast travel point. See, this is just something I don't understand. That The last three minutes of this stream have been pure, unadulterated gold. And someone left... That doesn't make any sense at all. Who would leave after after witnessing that? You had three hours of sleep and then took a 45 minute nap? Well, it sounds like you have another four hours of sleep to do. And uh, I'll leave it up to you for when that is. Am I in the correct? I am. Somehow, beyond all reason, beyond all the odds, I selected the correct location based on a tiny pixel uh, representation with some colors on it. Slytherin's tired too? I'm not tired. I slept actually too long. If I could trade it with you guys, I will. Yeah, but Valis. I'm hilarious. <laughs> I'm 
I'm just joking, man. Uh, okay. Oh, right, right, right. I remember. Little little grenades aren't subject to uh, to whatever <laughs> to weather. She really has nothing else going on here. Uh, she's just still talking about ice cream up here. A typical internet. Yeah, uh, when I was doing... I don't think it was Control. But when I was doing the last... Like, the Demon Souls stream, where I actually had my, my face in it. That that horrible, destructive use of science. Uh, I had, like, 21 unique viewers. That was unexpected. But also, I didn't have, like, 21 people in the chat, so... That means, like, at least nine people were like, Oh, I don't like this. There's there's only one Majora's Mask on screen? No thanks. I need at least uh, five Majora's Masks if I'm gonna watch a stream. And you know, like, honestly, I don't blame them. I don't blame them. You got a squall warning? Ooh, Final Fantasy VIII is coming. Papa Beatloaf's getting some Little Caesar's pizza. It's not the worst. It's not the worst pizza. It's actually, it's a pretty good pizza. My least favorite pizza place with pizza is Domino's, but I love their chicken wings and their chicken-related uh, food items. They, get, they, they got some mango habanero hot wings to die for. You would, you would stab, I don't know, like an electrical socket with your forehead in exchange for one of those things. Delightful. Wasn't there a Pizza 73? Is Pizza 78 related? Alright, we got our snowsuit. We've got our stinky girl. She's, she's at 100%. Let's get in here. Let's get into One Concern West, which is... On the east side of the of the map. <laughs> it's a very spooky coat. Coat phobia? Um That's a good question. Is there actually a fear of coats? Can anyone fact check? I feel you mean I don't like stealth either. So do I actually have to No, I don't. Okay. So we're just going to go ahead and be a centaur. My head is wedged firmly into her tuchus. And we're going to get into one concern that way. But it worked. Slytherin googled it. It specifies white coats. Well, that's racist. What's it called? I mean, it's kind of disappointed we didn't have a battle. Well, unfortunately, this isn't the dishwasher. This is Iconoclasts. It might be hard to say. White coat syndrome? Oh, God. That's too complicated. Why do they have to name it something like that? It could be a little bit more on the nose. It wouldn't hurt. By gosh, we're lucky. Vestophobia. <laughs> All right, guys, we're in One Concern West, and the place looks a little bit deserted. There are some machines spitting out Metroid Cheerios. We know what to do with Metroid Cheerios. Avoid them. I don't actually remember this place, like, at all <laughs> from, my, from my last playthrough. So this might be like a very annoying, uh, puzzly kind of place, or uh, it might not be. I, I honestly can't remember. We got the smog tweak set. West Research Labs. I, we're probably going to figure out what to do with those once we get an ability. We're not going to stress it. Here's the tweak table. So what do we get with smog? The remote triggering bombs. We still need one more 
ivory oil for that. We've got a lot of spindles and fleet foots, increasing movement speed. I'm pretty happy with things the way they are. Slytherin drank 7-Up and it went up your... No oh, no! Did no one tell you? Carbonation and nostrils don't get along. That's like rule one. And I solved that puzzle. This place looks haunted. It might be a little bit haunted. It's haunted with spectacular level design. Look at these Punchinello guys. They, they got nothing on me. Did you guys watch that rap video that I put in the Discord? Is it not the best thing you've ever seen? Like, that guy's got the flow. Uh. Hello? Joe? He's just... He's just gonna be there? Well, I mean, his shield is made out of triangle. I don't really know if there's anything I can do against that. There is not. No, because you were busy? I mean, that's fine. It's fine to be busy. Got him. I don't know what the point of up there was, but I guess we'll figure it out later. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. Okay. <laughs> I panicked for a second there. Uh, hello? Okay, I understand now. I got it. Sorry, I, I'm, I'm uh, clinically stupid. I'm working on it, though. No, no, no. There we go. All right. Got it, everybody. Calm down. Let's not, uh... <laughs> yeah, clinically. <laughs> it's the worst kind. It's the most progressive kind. Yeah, take that. Ah. Okay, can we uh, can we get back up? Hardest room in the game. You know it. Welcome to the stream, Frontier Jazz. How's your week been? Tell me a story. Crap. <laughs> well, I didn't mean to do that. I had other plans. So far, this is the hardest room in the game. I agree. Did I have fun Thoring it out? Yeah. Yeah, I had a good time playing as Thor. Aw. Do I need to... Oh, wait, 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 wait. Can I throw grenades while I'm on that? Hold on. Hold on, everybody. Harder than remembering to save? Yeah, way harder. You can! You can fire... Look at me! That one probably needed something else. But we, we made a... We saluced. <laughs> we we saluced. Alright. Boom. Boom. And we're going to charge up. Oh, I, I didn't realize. Ah, fudge. To most gamers, a save room is a rest. But to me, it's anathema. I basically, yeah, I, oh, no. I basically just spam uh, pins with Thor. Pinning enemies to the wall and then electrocuting them is my favorite pastime. Oh! Yeah, boy. Look at it go. First try, everybody. First try. Man, I, don't, I, I should get paid for being this good. Alright, so what's in here? A save room. And a Contra core guy. Chemico Contra. That's who they are. What's so special about this time? Uh oh. They're going to execute Elro. There's not much of Elro left to execute, really. He's, he's sort of armless.
The Elro has an idea of Robin that doesn't really match up to who she's become. Oh, hey, Tegan. Tegan the Chemico Contra. A usurper gun. Ho oh, ho ho, I like the sound of that. Right, yeah, the Chemico Contra work for one concern, but actually don't. They're double agents. So not only is one concern the only ones allowed to handle ivory, they also won't let anyone use power that isn't ivory. And I guess the Chemico Contra secretly are trying to find other means of, of powering things. Because obviously you don't want a, a monopoly in the best of times, let alone the, uh, the dystopian hellscape that one concern has created for the world. Okay, they fired a rocket. So if, if, that, if that solution removes all ivory from an object and turns it into what he called detritus dust, you could probably blap an agent with that and one-shot them too, right? Or maybe even Mother? Certainly Royal. Hey! Perfect 10 with the sub. Thank you for subbing to the channel. Welcome to the Pee Pee Poo Poo Squad. That's a, a temporary name. I'll change it later. Uh, enjoy... Uh, the future. <laughs> Enjoy each moment to its fullest. Because I don't have emotes yet. But one day I will. <laughs> wow, okay, Grandpa. <laughs> yeah, thanks a lot for the sub, man. Big appreciate. You are very cool, very cool. Welcome to the world of tomorrow, sort of. Yeah, you bet. This is kind of like living in a lion's den and slowly taking out tufts of their fur while they sleep without being noticed. It's very dangerous. Uh, with my extensive experience doing that, I know. You can catch a tiger by the toe but getting tufts of lion fur, much harder. Elro is kind of a won't let things be kind of guy. And I don't know how I feel about that right now. Tufts of lion fur is what my hair eats. That's true. This very hungry hair dines on only the finest of lion fur. Hungry, hungry hairdos. Oh. Hello. 
There's Agent White and Agent Black, and that must be Agent Grey right there in this flashback with the faux hawk. Yep, there it is, with the uh, with the English spelling of Grey rather than the American spelling. That's interesting. I think this game was made in Europe. I think this is a European developer. <laughs> Suddenly, cyberpunk. I mean, some aspects of this game are kind of cyberpunk. Some parts are steampunk. Some parts are a little bit cyberpunk. It's an interesting kind of uh, world that's being shown here. Chemistry is like magic. <laughs> Man, Black is the best character in any room she's in. Oh, black. Did he just call her hairball? Is that what happened there? Did I read that right? So, I mean, how do you react to this, right? Because the agents work for the very organization that is responsible for his father's death. So is Gray, like, being sincere here? Or is this, like, what is this? I don't know how to read this. Was Gray a nice agent? Oh, well, I guess that's how Elro's reading it. Uh, pretty brave telling an agent they're fake to their face. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Oh, boy. Chemistry is like magic. Well, now we know how Grey died. God damn! <laughs> well, I can see why Black ripped Elro's arm off. I, I understand why she doesn't like him very much. Yikes! Wow! Let's save our game. <laughs> Holy cow. Poor Agent Grey. You know... <laughs> I don't even know what to say after that. That was so fucked. Elro! This guy. Oh, oh, a little too early. That was a big old bucket of yikes. I must say, that was not my favorite. Uh, hello? Wait a minute. 
What if I like electrify my thingy and then like drop a bomb over there? Okay, so that that didn't control those. Oh no, the pull string did. Okay, okay, that makes more sense. Bummer. I'll figure it out. Oh, wow. So, yeah. Um, that's one way to kill an agent. Still not really sure what charging that up does, but... just kind of like <laughs> I'm missing something because like part of the floor doesn't go up at all yeah some parts don't go up at all and there's not really anywhere for me to jump oh wait that's not true here we go there we go but I'm sure now it won't open because I didn't hit that thing but that's okay I can do that now I know the correct procedure. There we go, got it. We got some metallium. If you knew you were gonna die tomorrow, what would you do? Oh, you redeemed uh, and asked me anything. Uh, what would I do? I honestly don't know. I don't think I've ever thought about it. Let me think about it. If I knew I was going to die tomorrow. I think I would probably apologize to a lot of people. <laughs> Anyone that I've wronged. Um, I don't know if there's like any activity that I would do. Maybe like... If I, okay, this is, this is a really, okay, look, this is a really boring answer. This is a really boring answer. This is going to just prove what an old man I am. But if I knew I was going to die tomorrow, I would draft up a will and make sure that like all my stuff goes to the people I care about and anything that's left over goes to charity. That's probably what I would do. All things that I could do now, <laughs> if I were going to be real responsible, but probably will put off until it's way too late. That's what I would do if I knew for a fact uh, I was going to die tomorrow. Can you get my dot .hack games? Oh, you're going to have to fight Jif for those, maybe. I don't know. There's a lot of... There's, there's some hot contention uh, over, over some of my games. Hot, hot contention. The kitty gets the PS5. <laughs> uh... I have a friend. I have a best friend named Steve, and I think he gets first dibs on half my stuff, I think. So, you might have to hash it out with him. Because I'll be dead and it won't be my responsibility anymore. Did I pick up a key? That is what I got in there, right? It is. Okay. Perfect. So where's this, where's this slurpy gun? Ah, fuck. Fudge cakes. Cakes of fudge. You'll accept anything anime or JRPG? Well, I own I own a lot of games. I own at this point 704 physical games. I'm gonna wait until that one shoots a laser. <laughs> JRPGs are actually spoken for. Yep, there he is, the man in the flesh. I've got a few people who want my dot .hack games. They're apparently uh, very expensive and hard to, hard to get a hold of. What? Ah! <laughs> That's the opposite of reflecting. Oh, fudge cakes. Fudge chronicles. So I, I'm t I can't kill them with that. Can I kill them with anything? Guess not. Alright. I feel like there is a way. Probably the probably the Slurpee gun. Right? 
Ryan says I'm rich in games. That's true. Uh, let's see. I can't read Katakana very well. <laughs> so, like, I see she. I think I see she in there, but I can't be sure. I can't read Katakana yet. Bad boy. I can mostly read Hiragana. I have some, like, elementary school uh, textbooks that I haven't actually gone through yet. Oh, do we have a new mechanic? What happens when I stand in the schmutz? Okay, there's... Yeah, I lose health once I run out of oxygen. Makes sense. Makes sense. And I definitely can't read Korean. So, that's a no-go. Oh, crumb balls. Let's get out of there. It's easier. There are only 24 letters. Yeah, I, I think you told me that before. That they're fairly, fairly easy to uh, to learn the alphabet. Hiragana is not too bad either. But then you also have to deal with katakana and some kanji as well, and so that that instantly complicates things <laughs> with with Japanese. Who's that? Who's that lady down there? Hey, who are you? Will you step on me? I'll show you how to do it. You just, just go like that. Just a little bit of that. Oh, come on. That was just... disqueasing. Okay, that wasn't too bad. Why do I keep wanting to get stepped on? <laughs> Who doesn't want to get stepped on? It's weird not to want that. Oh yeah, we got the Slurpee gun. Now let's see how it works. Okay, if I fire a charged shot, I trade places. And that's how you usurp, by trading places with the royalty of geometric blocks. You get stepped on all the time by pets. It's not my favorite thing. Whenever pets step on me, they always tend to step all over my genitals. It's like it's on purpose. It might be. I don't like it. Culinary happy senses. Perhaps some edible circuitry. With some edible circuitry, she could bake a single, a singing Danish. I can't read, but th that sounds terrifying. That's that's the worst. Yeah, I think this is the way animals get back at us. This is like this is some revenge stuff for like colonizing and domesticating them. It's like, yeah, you're gonna you're gonna take you're gonna take over me on a on a breed level. That's how you're gonna do. Well, I'm, I'm gonna step all over your ding dong. Hey there, Marie Fernandes. How are you? Welcome to the stream. How's your week been? Tell me about your weekend. Tell me about your dreams. What do you want to do when I grow up? Cats domesticated themselves? That's pretty cool of them. I respect a cat. Farmers attracted mice and that attracted the cats and they just stuck around. <laughs> <laughs> That's such a cat move. That is so mood for cats. Damn. You're doing well? I'm doing okay too. Doing okay too. I'm I'm uh, a little bit brain dead, uh, as is the way I do when I stream. I should probably... Nah, we'll, we'll do something else first. We'll, we'll try and take care of this problem. Can I usurp the turret? Hold on. Ooh, I can. So that's how you defeat undefeatable enemies. You you use the Slurpee gun. Fantastic. I'm a genius. They should hire me to work at Bill Gates. Ancient cat is so wise. Uh, did we want to go all the way back here? I think so. I think there was a, a Slurpee block. 
little bit further down. I don't know why I'm calling it a Slurpee gun. It, just, it makes me happy. It's wish fulfillment. I wish Slurpee guns were a real thing. Literal dream? No, I mean both. I, I meant goal dreams, but I had some neat dreams last night about Guilty Gear Strive. So, I mean, you're welcome to share yours as well. Whichever you're more comfortable with, you know, do it up. It's another ancestral vessel, a.k.a. a space submarine. <laughs> what is Slurpee? <laughs> okay, fair enough. Uh, there's, a, there's a chain of convenience stores in North America called 7-Eleven, and they have a, a slushed ice mixed with flavor syrup concoction called the Slurpee, and they're quite delicious if probably really bad for you. I think I did a good job explaining what that is. <laughs> Not bad for my happiness. No, no, it'll perk you right up. It'll perk you right up. And there's like, isn't there like a day every year or like a week in summer where like small Slurpees are free? It's pretty great. It's pretty great. Starcrossed Mage. Hey, welcome in here. I've never seen you before. I don't think so nice to meet you welcome welcome to the stream we are playing iconoclasts we found a space submarine in one concern which is blasphemous as all heck i don't blame mina one bit for being a bit of a poopy pants about it well all that matters is you found me <laughs> so, welcome aboard. Uh, Mari Fernandez said, I dreamed I was a mom in travel and traveling in Japan. Oh, the, the chat's going nuts. Traveling in Japan with my twin daughter, daughters, Luna and Aurora, and they were crying. Don't remember more than that. It's probably because they hadn't had the food yet. If I was in Japan and I hadn't gotten any of the food, I'd be crying too. I'd be a very sad boy. Beer being a poopy pants is why she smells. Oh no, 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 no. She's got, she's got bo, not poopy pants. Let's not get it twisted. Let's not get the poopy pants twisted. Hey, Squiggly, welcome to the stream. Wow, we're seeing a lot of, we're seeing a lot of faces here in in name form. And an old head, no less, from the olden days, from the before times. Yeah, I've been streaming three times a week. Yeah, that's how numbers work. I've been streaming three times a week for the last two or three months, I think. Can anyone fact check me on that? See, I don't, I don't really like what Mina's doing right now. I understand she's upset, but like, it very quickly becomes your people, my people, when Mina knows very well that people are different. Yeah, I, I get you, Mina. I get you. It is upsetting to see uh, one of your holy relics scribbled on and dumped in a facility. I get you, but you can't take it out on Robin. She is a sweet cucumber salad who never hurt nobody. Big dumps? Well, okay, yeah, they they definitely have one of uh, one of Mina's culture's big smelly submarine machines with seeds in it for some reason that kill agents. Um. <laughs> so, Starcross Mage, you said you're not too much, you're not too far behind me in this game. Uh, there should be something in here for me to 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 figgle, 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 to figgle with. <laughs> Aha! A box! Perfect. We love box in here. And on that note, you're gonna get more food? Right on, man. Food it up. Bring the noise. Oh, I know what to do. I, <laughs> I learned a little too late, but I know what to do. 
Yeah, it figgle is when you when you figure something out while wiggling, which you can't see, but I was doing. I was I was giving it one hell of a wiggle. Slurpy gun, best gun in the game. This gun. Oh wait, hang on. Is that? Oh yeah, okay. What's going on here? We have restored another piece of data from the Ark. Conversion of the information, on the other hand, is still underway. But I must say, it's hard to concentrate when I keep smelling cigarette smoke from the vents. I tried knocking on the wall, but it's become no better. True, true. No, 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 I just want... I just want to slurpy the... Did I do it? I did. I did it. But there's also, like, grenade holes, so I kind of want to get in on that. I'm very greedy. Oh, they got two ways in, in case you, uh, <laughs> in case you get lazy. Uh, Mario says, searched and discovered that here we have 17 7-Eleven stores in the 90s, but all have failed and are closed now. That's kind of like Canada and Target. <laughs> all of our Zellers got replaced with Targets, and no one shopped there, so they're just all gone now. Whoops, did I not aim that in the up? I thought I did. What in the heck? Oh no, was I supposed to... Uh-oh. <laughs> was I supposed to do a stomp on that guy? No, no, okay, there we go. Something weird was happening. Damn, Canada can't even target, right? You can imagine how upset I was. I mean, if there's not, if there's one thing I love doing, it's target, target, target. Got your PS4 at Target because everyone else was sold out, and I knew no one would show up at Target. <laughs> You're a genius. You gamed the system. You know what's up. Oh. What do you think of that? <clears throat> yeah, I just made a Dynamite Heady reference. I don't care. Yeah, you got it, Starcross Mage. That, that was what I was going for. My voice also went hoarse, so I got a little bit worried, but it seems like it landed. The EC's continued mining of ivory pustules, again with this name, is turning out to be the reason for all the frequent quakes. If all projects are to have enough... The chat is covering the... <laughs> Hang on. Just give me a second. <clears throat> if all projects are to have enough time, we really need to stop their continued draining of the planet structure and do it now. I played so much Dynamite Heady. Uh, by the way, Target probably will open here in Brazil this or next year. The Xmas music was singing, was, was uh, sung by a Brazilian singer, and she kind of let it out. She let out this possibility. Oh, so she kind of leaked the information. Well, I mean, enjoy, enjoy the Targets. Okay, let's let's not exaggerate. All right, I did not I did not do it every stream. I did it every stream where I was having technical difficulties. I had it reported to me that a group of Chemico have found yet another way to generate power without ivory. Once again, investigations into it showed that applying any of those practices implied a massive regression in technology, and even then, the generators would require their own buildings. We might as well give up if the e we might as well give up against the EC if we ever attempted any of those suggested measures. True, true, you don't want to mess with them. <laughs> so every stream, yeah, four out of five streams, yeah, okay, fair enough. Fair enough. There are still no records of the past world having the planet's spines. We do know that it broke apart in the same manner as the moon has. However, the property of ivory is clearly one that keeps matter together at a sub-microscopic level. It is truly the weaving fabric of his making, the spun silk of the star worm. And how was my weekend? Did I, did I rest? Uh, Mr. Pooks was a better name than Trouble Bruin. I, I agree. It's, it's Dr. Pooks now. Dr. Pooks MD was a much better name. Uh, my weekend was actually pretty nice. I, I finished a game called 13 Sentinels Aegis Rim, and it's one of the best stories I've played in a while. Big recommend. Uh, Vanillaware is wonderful for its uh, hand-drawn art style. And, oh, hold on. I think I need the Slurpee gun for this. Wait, wait, wait. First I slap back the grenade. And then I do the Spanky Boy. We got him. 
glad I didn't get crunked there. You just started it. It's super cool. Yeah, I I agree. Like I I watched some um I don't even know what to do here. I watched some uh, some videos of uh, Aegis Rim's gameplay. Like I wanted to see what the combat system was like. And when I first looked at it, I was really not impressed. I was like, oh, this looks awful. Like, I don't want to play this. I don't like this type of game. Um, but I, I trusted my feelings for Vanillaware and went ahead and got it anyway. And man, am I glad. Even, even the parts of the game I thought I wouldn't like, I ended up liking a lot. Like, big time. I kind of want to just keep playing it a little bit. I might just have a stream where I'm just playing through some of the battles because there's like, there's a mode where you can keep going, I think. Yeah, so I had a really good time with that. And, uh, you know, we had, a, we had a stream on Saturday and Sunday and we learned a lot. We have a Discord. We decided what the next games I'm going to play after Iconoclasts and uh, Control are done with. Overall, everything was pretty productive and I'm, I'm feeling pretty great. Thank you for asking. If I like this, I might like Time Spinner. Uh, is that on uh, PlayStation 4? What is that on? Give me, give me like a, an elevator pitch for it. Mother has foreseen the ones worthy of planetary succession. Do not under any circumstance inform those not chosen. Their minds will warp and possibly destroy all the hope we have left for humanity. He may love us, but even love is limited. Oh, well... That's a little bit ominous. Also, I keep falling in. Oh, yeah, there's a ladder going down. Good to know. I'll keep it in mind. Keep it in mind. The executive researchers here are still shaken by the deaths of our holy agents. How did this happen? Agent Black says Agent White sprouted a tree from his back. What demons have the EC found buried in their holes? Something from the Ark? We have to get our hands on that Ark. They cannot be forgiven for the deaths of our holy knights. At least we have the sinner Elro back. Oh boy, we better save bro, man. Like, this is... This is dire. Kind of like Order of Ecclesia, but without rune absorption? I liked Order of Ecclesia. It plays a lot like Castlevania. Okay, yeah. I'll check that out. Time Spinner. Let me write that down. Let me, let me put that into a notepad so I don't forget it. So I'd like I'd like to make good on checking out people's recommendations. Time spinner. Cool beans. Talking about remedy, I played Alan Wake this weekend for a bit. Ooh, good for you. Is it is it your first time playing Alan Wake? Oh, I don't have a bot. <laughs> That's adorable. Uh, <laughs> here, let me let me let me fetch you. Let me fetch you one. I don't have a bot. I don't have anything. I'm like a grandfather using the internet for the first time. So uh, everything that, that every creature comfort you might have on other people's streams, it's going to take at least a year for me to get it. There you go. There, there's a link to the Discord. If you, if you guys want to join the Discord, please do. Uh, we, have, uh, we have all kinds of, of uh, jokes. <laughs> and you can, get, you can get announcements for when I'm going to stream. Um, the... Uh, the community goal is almost done. Only 4,000 more channel points. And I, uh, I used to sing songs. I used to make song parodies and, and such. And this is a beat, uh, you can't touch. But on top of that, um, I released basically just like a collection of all of my uh, songs into like little archive files. And one of the songs on the most recent album that's like 10 years old at this point uh, never got released. I never let anyone listen to it. And so that's that's what's up for offer. Uh, once once the community goal hits the ow, thirty thousand points it needs, then uh, I'm not doing a very good job talking and playing at the same time. Then then that unreleased song will be released, and people will be able to hear it for better or worse. Okay, so there's spikes down here. I hate this room. Immediately found my way through though. Okay. Official Vega song for the win. <laughs> well, that song didn't age well. Uh, okay, what have I done? What have I become? 
You miss Vega? Yeah. Those were those were good times. I just like fire a little ball out there and I sure can. Alright, we got a key. I think that's actually the key we needed. So this was not a detour. This was the correct way to go. And because I found it unintentionally, I just stopped myself from getting lost for potentially 20 minutes. How proud of me are you? Join my Discord. We got jokes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's uh that's that's pretty much all I got to offer. Uh, you like that Linkin Park song? The one I did for Grems. Yeah, she shows up sometimes. Did I finish Control? We beat the story. We beat the story for Control, but we're also going to do the DLC, uh, which includes going into the Foundation and also doing the Alan Wake DLC. Uh, there is Alan Wake DLC for Control, and that's going to happen... I don't know which stream it's going to happen. We've got some side quests to clean up first. Welcome back, Papa Beatloaf. Yeah, on the last control stream, we, we cleaned up a lot of mold and talked to some house plants and made friends along the way. Dr. Dubious, welcome to the stream. We're getting all kinds of new people. Hot potato. Think back on the halcyon times of Let's Playing on YouTube back in 2008. It's, it's a mixed bag for me. How is it for you? What are your feels about it? All right, so this is just like regular flavored water. And that's like death orange juice, so we don't want that. But maybe, maybe we can get rid of the laser. If we're just, what? No, wait, I did it right. That was gonna be so cool. I got robbed. There we go. You love orange juice? I was in, um, I was in Rack's uh, stream the other day, and he was talking about how orange juice is his least favorite juice, and he hates orange juice with pulp. And, and I just, I came to the realization that, you know, people really are different. They all, <laughs> they all have different feelings and preferences. And some people are just born wrong. And, <laughs> oh man, it's good times. Uh, ooh, there's some help. <laughs> That's probably not what I wanted to do with that. Oh wait, maybe it was. Hang on. Oh, I didn't throw it far enough though is the problem. I need to go back in. I, I've, I've solved the puzzle. I just... I messed it up. Might as well eat an orange if you drink pulp. Well, you may as well just eat a ball of tapioca if you're going to have bubble tea. You know? You know, beet loaf? Got him. There we go. Solved and solved. That's the way we like our puzzles. No trespassing without progenarian supervision. Do not tread the holy birthing grounds of the chosen and divine without the blessing and guidance of a true progen... I don't even know what that means. Yeah, that's right. That's right, like tapioca pudding. Get jebated. I don't know what that means. What does jebated mean, guys? I'm 80. Nope. All right, I'll, that's fine. <laughs> I suppose that's that's all binding and legal. Okay, we don't have a key for that that chest, but I feel like one day we might. Why don't we take a ride on it? See what happens when we do that. Doesn't go all the way. No, 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 no! Oh. <laughs> this stupid electric ceiling <laughs> it took it took everything from me. Let's try this again. It's Kuz It's Kuz Kuz gotcha. Why can't I climb? Someone help me. I'm drunk and blind. Okay, what are you guys talking about? Hang on. We're talking about tapioca pudding. Can't believe the gods you are usurping. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm usurping like crazy. I'm usurping with a, with a milkshake straw. Even the word pulp is nasty. You guys just have some controversial opinions, and that's fine. Like, I respect you. Okay, we're going to try this again. We're going to be a little bit smarter about it. Now we shoot up. There we go. Bam, baby. We got that improvium through the luck 
Ow. Of our own ow. Of our own brains. Can I get some more of that, please? There we go. You're gonna beat me to a pulp? That's a bad way to make orange juice. I've tried. Do not recommend. Valis says, remember Demon Souls, the very thing that was taken from you? The souls? Why why would you want me to relive that? <laughs> just just like like just like man to man, why would you say that to me? <laughs> why why would you want me to remember losing 750,000 souls in the blink of an eye? I thought we were friends. Okay. Increase onium. Og Ogtas Ug uh, uh, Are you dr are, are you do you need help? Blink twice if you need help, Frontier Jazz. Because we will get you the help you need, I promise. Uh, is this where we want to be? I don't think it is. I think we just created a shortcut for ourselves. Which is like it's not the worst thing ever, but I mean fair enough. Uh oh. Yeah, I've seen that movie before. Still don't have a key for that chest, but it's fine. This is a nice gun. You went way too hard on that pun to the point where it's not a pun. I had a hard time understanding it. That's not necessarily your fault. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh, no. Um, oh, okay. I don't, okay, hang on. Is he going to advance more? Or can I, uh, can I push him back? Oh, I can switch. I keep forgetting I have a Slurpee gun. Unbelievable. Um, I'm pretty sure I pressed the correct button there. Thank you. Thank you very much. Oh, what? Come on. That's a bunch of silly gooperoni. I'm not really sure how I feel about all this. What? There we go. Alright, that worked. It took like 18 tries, but I got it. There we go. That's much better. I don't know why I kept like shooting them up into the- Oh! <laughs> up into the air. Go, 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 go. Oh, I was hoping we were operating under Sonic the Hedgehog boss rules. Where, uh, the boss dies if you hit it three times. Oh, right. I wasn't paying attention. I'm sorry. Let me look at chat for a second. Sure did die. Pale Remake Duo Decim for you. I wish I could. I wish I could do that for you. I wish they would just release Duo Decim on, like, PlayStation 4 or something. Let's die so let's die so we can do a death parade episode. <laughs> I mean we could. That could be my intro video. Just uh a bunch of my deaths. If you irritate me enough, can we do a Harry Potter movie marathon? Do you mean like you and I personally? Is that what you mean? Cause I'm yeah, like I'm fine for that whenever. If you have the means, let's do it. I think with the current uh, climate of Twitch, I don't think I'm allowed to stream actual movies. 
But yeah, man. I love watching stuff with people, so. Uh oh. <laughs> Make it so. This is such an easy boss, and I just like. I don't know, man. Sometimes I think I have straw in my brain. Hell yeah! Oh, wasn't paying attention again. The big green green indicator wasn't enough indication for me. Oh, he's doing stuff. He just he just played himself. <laughs> That was the wildest thing I've ever seen. You love the Harry Potter Lego games? I think they're on sale. Maybe not anymore now, but they were the last time I looked. I think all the Harry Potter Lego games are on sale. Okay, well... Gucci boss time. Gucci save time. Replace the straw with Pythagoras' formula. Maybe a testimonial. That's a nice Oz reference. I'm not mad at you for it. All the latest subjects disintegrated either completely or to unsustainable states. The great he hasn't found anyone worthy of blessing for quite a while. Perhaps it truly is the end times. Perhaps? Oh, hey, there's another one of those uh, things that Royal got all upset about. This is where they make agents. Oh, what's going on, Mina? Mother again. Yep. Is this room wet? What? Why is the room wet? Oh, I guess there's like a fog, right? I didn't notice the fog. I'm sorry, guys. What if my Patronus is a Rancor, guys? What do I do then? Okay, so Mina isn't going to say anything new. We can go down this ladder. Oh! 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 Oh my! So I'm guessing this is the, uh... Is this the detritus dust? Or is this the, uh, the result of the experiments that were left in an unsustainable state? Because, uh, we're walking through the stuff now. Ooh, it's gross. It's gross in here. I'm just walking through a bunch of powdered bone milk. But we got a key. That's all that matters here. It's probably people juice. Yeah, it is. It's not very fun to jump through. Oh, God, it has a smell, too. I don't think Mina should be talking, but... Okay. That's people. <laughs> Soylent White. Living Detritus Holding Cell. They have a whole holding cell for it. Wait, living? Oh! Oh, they made a they made a holding cell for Royal and called it the Living Detritus Hold... They just called him a piece of walking shit, is what they did. That's... Something. Hey, Royal. Soylent white as animals. Why is Mina so mad? He's in a jail cell. So I guess Royal came in to try to help us and he got imprisoned immediately. And there's a there's sea prism stone in this cell, so he can't use his devil fruit powers. Got it. I understand things quick, guys. I'm I'm a quick understander. <laughs> I mean, it's kind of being a jerk.
Ah, that's sweet of you. Oh no! Was that the name of the samurai that kept fighting us? Swordsman Silver? Is that who that was? Because Royal is responsible for him drowning. Is that, is that why he was thrown in jail? Through seeds and sand, we will make it through. These are the days of our lives. Royal's in a coma, and Mina's evil twin is ruining all of her relationships by pretending to be her. Meanwhile, Robin has a souffle that is so close to being done. Will it deflate? Will it? Oh, the squall has arrived. It's using uh, Zantetsuken. <laughs> Zen Zen Makaka special. It's using special beam cannon on your windows. By the way, I, I do know how to say Zantetsuken. Thank you. That's probably not it either. That's probably not it either. God, I can't enunciate. Oh yeah, man, I've had all the seeds. Potatoes, raspberries, turnips. Turnips are the most useless thing. We turnips turnips are a famine food. Turnips is like I will eat rocks because there's nothing else to eat. That's what a turnip is. There's no reason to eat a turnip today. If you have to cook a turn if you have to cook a piece of food for like 18 years, for it to become soft enough to, to chew and ingest, it's not food. Period. <laughs> Tatsumaki Senpukyak. Tatsumaki Senpukyak! Squall uses Renzoku Ken. Well, you would know that, you nerd. You big, you big Final Fantasy VIII dork. Ha ha. Got him. I bullied her good. Do not touch the divine blocks, and do not put free electricity or exposed ivory near them. Fair, fair. Hey, Magic Bell. Welcome to the stream. Happy to have you here. How you doing? What's What's been going on? Give me an update. What dream did you have last night? <laughs> Alright, so we basically just find our, found our way back out of here. You're good? That's Gucci. That is an expensive fashion product. Love to hear it. Um, okay, wait, 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 hang on. There's something in here. No, I already know that. I've been in there. Why didn't it get recorded? What? All right, let's, let's just try again, see what happens. You don't recall? You think you've just been having regular day-to-day -day life dreams? That's fair. Not everyone can dream about their favorite character being playable in the new Guilty Gear Strive. That's so weird. Why didn't it get recorded before? That's bonkers. That's bonkers the Bobcat. Unless it didn't save. Is it because I died? Oh, I'm confused now. I don't know what's happening. There's a lot that seems like it doesn't remember that I did it. Yeah, I opened this shortcut. How come Perfect Ten is never around? Because he hates me. Uh, no, he, he was in the stream earlier. He was here uh, pretty early on, and he's probably uh, he's probably lurking. Like He probably has to stream on while doing something else. Which is perfectly legal, I checked. I can't, uh, I can't get him arrested for it. As much as I try. One day. Well, I, I feel like this yoga pose she does wasn't there when I played this. 
the first time. I feel like it's new. But I'm here for it. Yeah, and it says I didn't get that chest either. So me dying must have undone a lot of what I've done. <laughs> you know what I mean? I don't know how I feel about that. That's weird. It still let me fight the boss, but just pretend that I didn't go through the dungeon the way I did. Uh oh, there's something going on in the chat. What's happening? Are we about to have like a, a war? Is it a Final Fantasy war? You know everything about Final Fantasy? It's your number one fandom? Oh yeah? I bet I could ask you a question you don't have the answer for. I'll bet I could. You're, you're gonna feel like, like a goofball when I do it. If you're actually right, I'm gonna be a little bit sad. <laughs> I'll let Valus do it, I guess. He seems he seems already ready. Well, I'm like all turned around now. But this certainly this is wait. Oh, okay, this is where we're supposed to go. Chapter twenty four. All right, well, we'll deal with this scene in a second. There's something happening in the chat, and we, we I don't want to skip over it. This, this seems like history is being made. I want to see what Valis is going to say. I, I saw that. You called me Edgar Allan Pale yesterday because I said, uh, the telltale heart beats in its grave, something, something, while I admitted to everyone that I was the imposter and nobody, nobody kicked me out. Pro strats. I didn't win a single game that I was imposter in. And possibly not a single game that I was crewmate in. It was a bad night. No looking it up on the way. Yeah, no cheating. Alright, what's going on with Darland? Darland was the guy who was at the tower. Uh, and he was he was interrogating um, one of the the kids that left. So they're gonna they're gonna launch a rocket. Weird flex, but okay. Yeah, what is up with B seventeen? B seventeen bomber. There's a certain kind of ivory we've located on the small moon, which will be a great asset to us all. So mining the planet for ivory wasn't enough, now they're going after the moon. <laughs> it looks like Slytherin got the answer correct. Well, alright, I, I got a question, Slytherin. I got one. Okay. No, 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 hold on, Val, this is my turn. <laughs> I mean, you, you can too. Uh, in Final Fantasy XV... When you when you know when you're collecting the uh, the, the thirteen uh, weapons from the thirteen former kings or whatever that stupid bullshit was, uh, do you remember when you 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 go to one of them and and it's not there, and then you have to go to a, a nearby dungeon all the way through and then you fight like a Jabberwocky uh, 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 dragon thing at the bottom. Do you remember? Do you remember that Slytherin? Do you remember the the, the boss fight though? <laughs> Where, where, where was, where did the design for that monster come from? Who made it? Wait, are we talking to ourselves about Royal being taken away? Because we already know. We ran into him. That came out of car. <laughs> so it was actually uh, Square Enix actually outsourced a lot of their art assets to a uh, Chinese uh, company that makes like, um, I think they make like little like MMO games and stuff. 
And it was a design that they are, had already made for one of their games. And uh, it, was, it was used in Final Fantasy XV. Oh, it's the soldiers gossiping? I guess that makes sense. I thought that, that uh, Robin was the one speaking in, in parentheses, but never mind. That's a good word, tumultuous. I like that word. It means difficult. But instead of just saying difficult, you can say tumultuous. Maybe I'll maybe I'll read him. Frustrations rise. Wait, I should give him like a like a dang it. <laughs> nah, never mind, I won't. All according to chocolate cake. Frustrations rise. Questions become loud inquiries. But it is a time... Oh, I know exactly the voice I want. But it is a time where we must first give sacrifice so that together we can achieve greatness beyond what we had. What have you given up in the chase of a dream? Would you risk your own life? Perhaps. Perhaps you would knowing your dream had been thwarted by someone else. I have learned much. Your dreams are set. You exist solely to produce a rocket. Man, why you gotta, why you gotta throw shade at me? <laughs> I was in the middle of it and you just, you just sucked all the wind out of my vacuum. So I guess we're scapegoating Royal, and Black doesn't like it too much. Royal angered the Almighty. The Almighty! Him! I apologize if that was really loud. I had to dig deep for it. Wow, yeah, Chrome is going against the uh he's going against the grain big time here. Like he's doing some he's doing some restructuring of the pecking order and Black cannot stand it. <laughs> oh crap. She's beating the ivory out of him. I'm sure she's fine. That sounds that sounds like she's fine in there. So we move deeper into the facility. <laughs> it's a little bit concerning, sure. You might have more than one concern. No, wait, no. No! <laughs> Why? Why is life like this? You know what? I think I think Valis is looking up like random Final Fantasy facts on Wikipedia's and stuff, and then turning to Slytherin and being like, "Yeah, well, how about you answer this incredibly random and vague information point without doing the same thing that I just did? Why don't you?" Okay, so what did I actually just accomplish? <laughs> I accomplished nothing. What was the point of any of that? Uh, let's try. Let's try something else. Wait, hang on. Okay. Not funky fresh at all. Okay, so that lifts that one up. And lets me go in here. And then from there...
we can go up here. I love the way it bounces around like a uvula. They should call it the uvula gum. Okay, this is going to be a little bit tricky. Only a little bit, though. It actually wasn't tricky at all. I lied. Okay, let's try this again. Fuck. <laughs> uh... Alright. Wait, wait, wait. Whoever's out here equating Final Fantasy with Kingdom Hearts clearly doesn't have a heart. What? I think I'm doing something wrong here. Let me look at more of the stage. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. Okay, I see. I see, I see. All right. <laughs> that wasn't good enough. Just, uh reestablish word can we make up our mind does it have to be like right on top of it is it that Oops. there we go okay it's accepting it now as its child yeah we did it one puzzle at a time, we're getting through. How are we on time here? At least we still got an hour and a half. I It's possible that I'll beat this game on this stream, if not the next one. So that's kind of exciting. Oh, I see. Okay, let's stop suffocating for a second. A oh, boom, baby! How exactly is one meant to get down there, though? Maybe there's just another way. Oh, hang on. Let's try and get our our breath back. Oh god, it hurts. It hurts so good. Okay, that's how. We reverse the polarity. Makes sense. <laughs> Valus, don't be mean! You be a good boy right now. Or I'm throwing you in the poo. Okay, we've got some, uh... Got some dead soldiers in here. This is a little bit ominous. Strike that, make it very ominous. I know what I said. Okay, shuttle platform. That's not where we want to go right now. Did I just get raided? Did someone just raid me? <laughs> the number shot up all of a sudden. Hello, people in here. Welcome. Welcome to the stream. Happy to have you here. Papa Beatloaf just wants Chois. Was it? A, yeah, was it a ninja raid? <laughs> Did you tell some people to come in here? Okay. Oh, they threw uh, they threw black into the the purple sand too. That's problems. Yeah, let's all get on the train to see mother. It sounds like a, a wonderful adventure. Black is a bit testy. Has anyone noticed that? It's not just me, right? She's a little bit... She's a little bit on the haughty side. I mean... <laughs> you know what I mean? Oh, 
Yeah, what did Royal do? Oh! Oh, 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 that monster in the mountain we defeated. Now that's a line. Magical thinking will live on as long as the alternative is terrifying. Nason, I, di I didn't. I had no idea you felt this way. Now, I'd like to explain a little bit if you'd sit with me by the fireplace for a moment. Have a seat. Enjoy a cup of cocoa. <laughs> boom, ba -dum, boom, boom, boom. Uh, this room that they're in, there's no ivory. So people who are powered by ivory can't use their ivory powers like resurrection or any of the other kooky stuff that they get onto. <laughs> Once you go black, you know. Um, so you'd think, okay, Royal can't do anything in here and black isn't freakishly strong either because that that's probably what is powering her, right? The ivory. We watched a cutscene earlier when Royal was freaking out about finding one of the pods that makes agents that... Uh, he, not Royal, but the, uh, deity, he, uh, takes away the parts of you that have other purposes. And in the cutscene that we were shown, I'm pretty sure that was black. She had her arms removed and her arms were replaced with robotic arms. So that's why she has the strength to just rip people limb from limb because she's got fucking machine gorilla arms. <laughs> anyway, back to the game. And, uh, yeah, I guess another part that was removed was whatever part of your brain uh, prevents headaches from being a constant issue. Yeah, she's basically Jax. Exactly. And it looks like she's about to finish him. <laughs> That's right. Give her slaps. Give her little, little, little pity paps. Pap her on the cheek. A palpable pepper of paps. We can all be Jacks if we try hard. All your favorite characters. I you liked Royal? That's interesting. A lot of people don't like Royal. I think he's a cutie pie, but he's also a smarmy D bag. So it's, you know, six of one, half a dozen of another. The pertinacious heroine of House 4. Now, where is Elro? Finally, Black's gonna step on me. Oh.
Yep. She's got the power of steam! Alright, we're fighting black. Oh, okay, I mean, no, you don't have to, you gotta, you don't gotta do all that though, oh my god. Alright, well, cool man, thanks, thanks for that. Nah, nah fam, I didn't even like that. Oh, I got hit by that, I didn't want to. So yeah, she, she hits like a flippin' truck, and uh, it's, it's a problem. Can I... Can I Slurpee Gun her? Is that an option that I have? Oh. Define fighting. Okay, I can Slurpee Gun her, but it doesn't seem to really matter. Doesn't seem to do much. She does take damage from the regular gun, so that's good to know. We'll just regular gun her. Finally, a use for the... Ah! A use for the regular gun. Yeah, we're getting used to her pattern now. I'm probably still gonna... I'm, yeah, I'm gonna die. <laughs> I'm still gonna die. But it's nice to know I know what... It's nice to know I know what I'm supposed to do. How do you avoid that? Alright, so that can't actually kill you. I guess those are scripted to happen. I love that strut. Ah! Huh? Pretty much used to her pattern. Dead. Yeah. Have you uh, have you seen me play this game? You uh, you watched Iconoclast by Pale Voyager. Essentially, that's what happens. I get beaten to an inch of my life, and then I usually squeak out a win. Oh. Nope. Wish she wouldn't do that. It is cool though. It is a cool uh, visual effect. Oh, I'm gonna get you! Shoot, I didn't jump. Jumping was the main ingredient, and I didn't do it. Oh, thread the needle. There we go. Got her. Well, that was fun. That was a fun little boss fight. We are dying to black. We didn't die. We made it. We made it right on through. And black can't uh, recover her HP because she's in the purple sand. So there. Robin's so good to her friends. Take her robot arms. <laughs> it's the final upgrade. Just stick them on my shoulders. No, no, she's KO'd. No, we don't want to kill Black. She's the best character in the game. So he's drawing ivory from the surroundings, because everything is made with ivory to some level. Second life out of the floorboards, exactly. Oh, we gotta go to One Concern East. I thought we had to go to One Concern West. What are we doing here? Yeah, Royal's got a bad track record for uh, taking us places. He's zero for three right now. Guys, guys, there's enough Robin for everybody.
No, it's funny. It says they're in my party, but I can't play as them. Like, the game only lets you control other characters in very minute, specific instances. I know the train's over there. I just want to see what's over here. Okay, so we've been here. It's just it was locked. Does anyone else do that? Like, running and jumping are the same speed, but jumping feels like it's faster. Is that just me? Let me know. Zelda rules? Yeah. Yeah, jumping is faster a lot of the time. But sometimes it's not, and I know it's not, and I do it anyway. Yeah, I think I think Perfect Ten's got it. It's a, uh, it's qualia. You can go ahead and Google that if you want. <laughs> I'm probably using it wrong, but it is qualia. Look down at me and you see a fool. Look up at me and you see a god. Look straight at me and you see yourself. Deep Squalia. Chrome really is a weird character, isn't he? And he's got robot legs in case no one's noticed. Uh, he's a weird character. He's a shirtless cowboy who speaks in purple prose. Very, very interesting. Oh, the heck was that? Oh, oh, oh no! That's the same. That's the that's the the, the same thing. The Makunkusumpu that the other guy got, that Agent Gray got, right in the right in the pajama bottoms. I mean, a little bit extra. <laughs> the dip. Nice Roger Rabbit reference. This doesn't have anything to do with anything, but today I received a giant need to cosplay Guzma from Pokemon, and you don't know why. Is Guzma's one of the, the beasts, right? <laughs> Tolo's really upset. What's Chrome going to do? Oh, the leader of Team Skull. Why did I forget that? I don't know why I forgot that. Might be. Yeah, I, I remember who you're talking about now. I just, I couldn't put a name to it. I think what happened is Chrome is just too annoying to die. Not a Pokemon master. <laughs> nope, you got me. Hey there, Arcane Lancer. Welcome to the stream. Happy to have you here. How was your weekend? Everybody gets one perfect ten. But also all of the majestic wrinkles that make up my brain smooth out the second I start streaming. So, you know, I'm playing at a handicap. And that's, that's what I'll tell everybody until the day I die.
It was pretty good. You got a call about a job interview. That is awesome news. Congratulations. Good job. Literally. Let's save the game. On that note. Okay, rocket manufacturing's that way. Shuttle platform's that way. Makes sense. Chemico laboratories over there, but we can't get in. More of that weird blue cluster stuff. Don't think I didn't see you. Surgical research and clinic. Rocket launch center. Rocket launch chair. One concern East is probably going to be shut down and shuffled into production for GTA 6. <laughs> in it though. Oh, we got enemy boys. Whoa, whoa, guys, stop. Stop defending yourselves. I, I didn't pay for all that. I'm just trying to stomp some heads. I'm trying to drop a poodle on your noodle. Rocket lawn chair. I think that's a, a metal slug reference. Oh yeah, we'll do, man. We'll do. I'll message you when I'm done. I'm crushing these men's spines. Hey, Amen. There's so many people who would pay for the honor. <laughs> I'm giving it out for free. How great am I? Okay, so Elro's not here. We can't seem to go through any more of the doors. Yeah, man, thanks for dropping by. I'll uh, I'll message you when I'm all through. So where the heck are we? Uh, where the heck are we gonna find Elro if he's not down there? It's a bit spicy. Can't go any further in that direction. I might have just walked past like the actual solution and came up here for nothing. It certainly feels like that's what I've done. You like Elro the least? Uh, yeah, I think I think I'm inclined to agree. A lot of people in this game are kind of hypocritical and pushy, but he is is hypocritical and pushy the way that a family member is, and I think that that hits like a lot deeper with uh with most people. Ah, oh, the enemies respond. Jeez, I'm not doing a very good job here. Oh, well, he seems to be on break. Oh, there was literally a door right here that opened, and I walked away from it and went all the way back up because I'm a genius. TM. Okay, we have to go down. It's fine, guys. We're making progress, and that's all that ever matters. Hey, we found Elro. <laughs> Hooray! But at what cost? It looks like Elro was trying to turn himself into an agent. Wow, Royal. Read the goddamn room. Slytherin, I'm gonna... I'm gonna fire you into a giant ball of pillows. Head first. I don't even care. Are there any games I'm really bad at? Uh, anything I play on stream? <laughs> no. Uh, let's see. Well, I'm not the best at first-person shooters. 
Uh, I definitely have uh, some aim inadequacies. But probably the games that I'm the worst at are roguelikes. And I, I, I think uh, I can't wrap my brain around the idea that you lose all your stuff when you die. So it puts a lot of pressure on me to not ever die. Uh, and then I die more <laughs> because of it. And I never really get very far as a result. So I think roguelikes and probably sports games I'm probably not very good at. I think those ones I haven't encountered a lot of games that were too hard for me to beat though but I think the ones if there are any uh, the ones that would immediately come to mind are roguelikes because like, anyone played Baroque that's one of the earlier roguelikes well console or one of the earlier console ro roguelikes on uh, on the PS2 You're saying I'm killer at Looney Tunes? I just pick the good characters. I think that's what it is. I want to play Hades. I. Uh, it's not on PS4 yet, is it? I keep looking and it's not there. I know it's on Switch, but I like. I don't know, man. I wanna. I wanna get it on the play. The, are there plans for it to go on the PlayStation? I had a game in my head that was like too hard for me to beat, and I lost it. Because I know there was one. But yeah, it probably, probably roguelikes. Later on, I'll probably just wait for later on. Uh, Superman 64. Well, everyone's bad at Superman 64. Superman 64 is bad at Superman 64. Uh, Dragon's Lair on the Super Nintendo. I'm bad at that. <laughs> Alright, it looks like one city. <sighs> oh, excuse me. It looks like one city is next on the itinerary. ActRaiser 2 on SNES. I haven't played ActRaiser 2. I played the first one, though. Oh, I know the game. It's not necessarily too hard for me, but I, uh, I definitely struggle with it, and that's Killer7. Uh, I think I have the PS2 version. I don't think I have the GameCube version. I know the PS2 version has problems, but I am very bad at aiming at anything in that game. Yeah. I think, I think yeah, I, I just like, oh. I just said, like, aim is a problem for me, and Killer7 has, like, the controls of a drunk badger. So the aiming is, I'm just, I should die five times over with how badly I'm playing here. Um... Yeah, the, the aiming in Killer7 is the most important aspect to playing it and also the worst designed part of it. So, that's fun. <laughs> that's, uh, that's, that's Nido Mosquito. It's the Chemico Contra. Hello there. We can use the crafting table. Did we get any more ivory? We didn't, so there's no need. I'll bet those enemies respawn too. SGF beat the crap out of Killer7. Yeah, he did. He did. I'm really proud of him. He was also playing like a PC version of it too, so I don't imagine the aiming is worse there. It's probably better. The aiming mechanics are killer indeed. Was I, I was supposed to get out, right? Yeah, okay, we're leaving. Time to go to, uh, to one city. Try to do it without getting shot even one time. 
I did it. Nothing else is going to open up, huh? All these doors stay closed. That's pretty spicy. But okay, I hope this time for real we're supposed to leave. We've got quite a large party now. We've got Robin, we've got Elro, we've got Mina, and we've got Royal. The A-Team on the case. Here we are at City One, that I was calling One City the whole time, but it's the same dang thing. Oh, wow. That's really a transition, huh? Look at that. You go from this, like, dingy, awful cave to just, like, an idyllic paradise. They even got doves. Wow. And who's this guy? St. Paul? I'm out of Midgar. Finally. Now we can calm down. Oh, sorry, not Paul. Pete. It's Peter. Peter at the pearly gates. Why is there pyramid heads? Because uh, this is a, a, a wonderful little paradise where nothing horrible happens ever up on a hill. It's so peaceful, you could say it's silent. Royal has a very plain face. Poor Royal. Peter Puppy. I miss Earthworm Jim. The cartoon show. It was good. It was made by Doug Langsdale. He's also responsible for Dave the Barbarian and uh, The Weekenders. I like The Weekenders a lot more than Dave the Barbarian, but I, I figure it bears mentioning. Does anyone in this game have unpure thoughts? Uh, Mina. <laughs> Mina every day. Yeah, The Weekenders was a bomb-ass show. Tino Tonatini. That's his name, right? I think he's my he's my favorite character. And then uh, Tish, Tish Katsafrakis is my second favorite. I wonder why. I don't, I, I, I don't know what reason I could possibly relate to those characters more than, than the others. Tino's VA is on TikTok? That's cool. This old man is yelling at clouds and not letting us in. Let us in, old man. Let Magic Man shimmer fingers in. <laughs> so he's just trolling him this whole time? What do you mean pale in the future? How dare you? How dare you today, tonight? Yelling at clouds and gape, gape, gape. Just yelling at clouds and gaping. That's me. That's me in the future. That's me yesterday. You guys are bullies. I'm trying to play a game for you and you're just, you're just tag teaming me. Damn. He's going to hit the report button on us. Oh, I'm going to bust him. I'm going to give him the busted lip. Hold on, watch this. I'm going to swap places with him. Yeah. 
The turntables have turned, Mr. Table. Now I'm in the building. That's how you usurp a situation, if and you ask me. Oh, I can't head stomp. He's electric. All right, well, I'll just... I'll just quietly bypass you then, I suppose. Hey, we made it. This place kind of reminds me of Apple Market from uh, Mega Man Legends. Do you remember when, when Mega Man first enters the city and you can go like into a bookstore and a CD store and stuff? Great value, Ace Attorney Judge. <laughs> Poor Gatekeeper Pete. Oh, wait, I'm sorry. What, what Zoomer thing did, did this character just say? one of the heaters not working correctly? Why don't you just guys... Okay, well... Where the hell is Tony? The ball pit bar opens today and I'm not going to stand in that line alone. Is it? Is it? Is it actually like a bar that is like the whole room is also a ball pit? So you can just like swim in a ball pit or wade through a ball pit to get to the, get to the bartender to get your drink? I hope so. That sounds hilarious and chaotic. I guess getting excited about a room full of uh, ball pit probably is uh, insensitive during these during these times, but a man can dream, and so can Thor. Oh man, he made it from the bottom, now he's here. And they have electronics in City One. Okay, so what we're looking at here is uh, a utopia built on the backs of everyone else. And these people live and grow in this society, not even realizing the, the torment and suffering that fuels their ability to live this way. Okay, I won't. I won't watch Story of Me. They're waiting for the new iPhone. Imagine working your whole life to get to City One and some girl with a wrench about to try and change this. One wrench! <laughs> yeah. This whole city on committee until a wench with a wrench. Wow. First world problems. Hello. It's a very peaceful battle we're having down here. The music really doesn't make it feel urgent or tense. Uh, nope, that, 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 nope. No way. Oh, come on, guys, don't... Okay. There we go. No! Okay, well I did I did turn it in time. So there's that at least. One wrench to rule them all. Oh no, a whole two blocks? Yeah, it, it's 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 a distance. Slytherin is tense. Her butt is clenched. Vomit on her tent. Mom's lent lentil soup. At least these gears aren't as bad as the gears in Castlevania. Yeah, those are pretty bad gears. They need a spanking. We're making it through, though. There, we bypassed the gate. All 
right? That guy seems to have some stuff going on. Large moon is going through rebirth. What if the large moon isn't a moon at all? What if it's a giant worm egg? What if that, guys? Have you considered it? I live in the bush over there. Damn. Okay, we're not wearing proper City One attire, but we are one with ourselves. And that's all that matters. Yeah, yeah, the digital age is definitely separating us. Good commentary. Fair. It is a cold and blocky place out there. I'm going to talk to all these NPCs. I just want to see what they have to say. Well, that's a big old yikes. All right. Fair enough. They're talking about essential oils with each other. Boss babes. You guys talking about uh, dyeing your hair? Half your hair an odd color, and right now it's blue, but when I color it again, what color should I go for next? People are saying orange. Orange is a good choice. I vote orange, too. Not as well. I mean the color orange, too. Like the sequel to orange. That's what you should do. Well, that was smooth as tomatoes. Okay, well. There you go. That's your life now. Enjoy. These idiots living in this city without a wrench. What a bunch of tools. Goofy looking punks. They've never twisted on a nut in their life. And it shows. Ooh, mother's got a parade float going on. Orangi this. I heard Orange 2 isn't as good as Orange 1. Yeah, they say that about sequels, but, you know, time will bear that out. I mean, literally just walk further to the right, guys. It's not hard. I'm sorry, is that an ivory fountain? The excess. The absolute excess of it all. Ah, the aggressors. Orange 2, electric pulp glue. I love pulp. This is a pyramid head, son. Pyramid top.
Yeah, don't cause panic. Elro's having like a metric struggle. Just look at him. He's barely even able to stand up. <laughs> God damn it, Royal. Oh, okay, yeah, Mina, he is infuriating. Punch him in the nose. <laughs> mother has reached the limit of her patience in the middle of all of our bickering in front of the entire uh, population of city one who up till this point didn't realize problems were a thing that existed Oh, is that what we do with protesters, mother? We just run them over? Royal is going to get spanked. You right. Mother's got some real wiggly letters going on. She must be feeling things. Well, apparently, uh, apparently killing that monster in the mountain called the Star Worm, is, did we do that? Is that what we did? Did that happen? I don't know. I don't know if that's what happened. Well, let me ask you this, Slytherin. Do you enjoy paper? I've moved you into a corner that you can't get out of. Everybody loves paper. No, like paper. <laughs> like, I mean, money too, I guess, but paper. Oh. Oh, so it's a it's a it's a load runner rocket. Right? Did I get that that reference right? You called the Star Worm Patrick. <laughs> it's kind of fair. Man mood slither and mood. Uh oh, do we, have, do we have to fight her float? I was kidding. We actually have to fight her float. I don't want to. Oh, it's a cat now. Well, that makes it a little bit more fightable. Oh, no. Well, this giant cat made of rocks and also cars is pretty formidable. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, I don't like this at all. Where am I supposed to hit it? Oh, jeez, that's not good. I legit don't know what to do.
Does it have a weak point in its mouth? Is that what I was supposed to do? It does. Okay. This fight's weird. Oh, I thought maybe I could get it with one. It hurts when it recovers too. I'm probably going to die. I'm being very uncareful. Oh yeah, jumping exists. Right. Oh yeah, distance exists. Right. Hi right, guys, I'm learning. I'm learning. Hey, we're doing it. Why is Elro walking? It's a good question. Probably trying to ward off atrophy. Switch places with mom? Oh, that's a good idea. Okay, yeah, I'll give that a shot next time I down it. Oh, that was rude. You right! You right! Damn, you're a genius. You're like the smartest person in the world. Oh, that's a big one. Roy will do something about that. Oh, I'm supposed to do something about it, too. Ow! <laughs> right in the mouth. Alright, that was a weird decision. What a silly boss fight. This is pretty cool, though. I'm not gonna lie. I don't have much to say, but, like, I, I'm enjoying this. Yeah, boy! Starting to be able to read the, uh, the telegraphs here. Oh, well, I don't know how to read that one. What the fudge? Oh, come on. That wasn't nice. Ah, oh, I was too late. Fudge! Fudge brownies! I'm gonna die. This is the worst. I thought I had it. I thought I had like a like a thing going. It turns out I don't. Too slow. Yeah, I'm for sure gonna die. I'm not gonna do it this time. I don't think. Again? Yep, dead. <sighs> it's fine. We'll get it this time. Yeah, I think that's on purpose, Dickity. I think it is supposed to look like it's coughing up a hairball. All right, let's just skip this. I gotta start. I need to stop charging. That's the main thing. This is a full-on teamwork battle if you're paying attention to what the NPCs are doing. Oops. 
didn't jump high enough. Take her down. Give her some wrenches. We just gotta keep it up. Time to make a litter box out of this cat. Exactly. It is a lot of concrete for one cat. Ooh, that is a burden. I don't like that attack. It's probably my least favorite attack. Wrong direction. Got hit by the back toes. Still charging my attacks like a doofus. That's a big rock. So yeah, I don't think we're going to beat this this time. I think, uh, I mean, we'll beat the boss, but I, I, I don't know why I thought we were going to beat the game this time. Uh, that was a mistake. I, I genuinely don't know how to get out of, out of the way of that. Maybe this is a switch places with it or something. How dare I be optimistic? Yeah. It'd be great if my teammates would shoot down some more, uh, some more healing stuff for me. That would be fantastic. Doesn't seem to be happening a whole lot, though. Okay. Oh my gosh. There, we win. We, d we did it. First try, zero deaths, no damage, flawless victory. I'm amazing. And we stopped the fountain, the most important part. Oh, damn. Cruise control. Speedrunner at its finest. You know me. You know, I just cruise through games like my eyes are closed. I'm so good. I'm so fine. I mean, it looks like she's dying now, pot. Part, part, partner. I was going to say Padre, but that. Never mind. The game. <laughs> She's twerking nine to five. Don't judge her, Valis. Boom, ba -dum, boom, boom. Like he's coughing up a hairball. She had to become mother somehow. <laughs> Oh, man. That is the best. Good work, Arcane Lancer. Cowards excel at staying alive. That's interesting, uh, Chrome. Uh, how, um, how are you doing? How are you doing today? Huh? You, uh, you doing all right? Hey there, Paradox Zero. You've come at just the right time. Mother's twerking nine to five, and Chrome doesn't understand what he's saying. Oh yeah, Chrome? If cowards stay alive, then why are you alive? Got him. about to give them the business. <laughs> I 
don't worry, you'll die. <laughs> it's it's okay, isn't that better? Don't you feel better now? Oh man, Chrome should be a motivational speaker. <laughs> don't worry, you'll die. <laughs> This man. Uh oh, is the hairball coming? <laughs> okay, Sephiroth Chrome. <laughs> <laughs> I like that too, because it sounds like clone. Do you get it? Do you get it, guys? Oh god, it's so good. I'm not feeling very clever today. I don't know if anyone's noticed. Oh, I guess uh, I guess Mina gave her a seed, and now she has to concede. She treed. Okay, well, I think it's time for us to hit that old dusty trail. What do you What do you say? Let's uh, get out of here before the before the shooting gets worse. By the way, we are four thousand channel points away from release unreleased song from Voyage M's album two. Uh, forgot the name of the song now. <laughs> Monologue for geese. This is how Civil War two begins. It is. 2101 war was beginning. Main screen turn on. There is a kitty. So every time we knocked Mother off of the giant cat monster, Mina just like threw a couple seeds into her mouth. That is how Mina would do it, isn't it? Stop calling them ivory pustules. I hate it. Pustule is like the worst word. The worst one. Pustule. Blech. Blech. Bach. Yeah. Her shotgun is full of seeds. Yeah, it is. We're in the palace, man. This is it. We're in the palace in Wonderland. There's a save point. Fantastic. So yeah, there's fighting in the streets now. Mina needs to think. Elro's got nothing to say. Cannot pet cat. This game is a 3 out of 10. And yeah, we're in Bastion. We've made it. And it's playing Royal's leitmotif as we go through. Well, that wasn't going to work anyway. Ah, there's a wall! Ah, there's a grenade launcher. Whatever, let's just go. I don't have time for this. No, no, <laughs> no, no. Bye. Oh, crumbs. I actually have to fight them. Ah, fudge. Ah, oh, oh, jeez. Ah, oh, golly. Whatever. Just... 
Oh, I'm supposed to do it multiple times. I have to fight them completely. Oh, this is the worst. This is the worst thing ever. I'm gonna die down here. <laughs> no! Oh god, what was I even supposed to do there? I'm having some issues? You're damn right I'm having issues. I'm having so many issues, I need tissues. How was I supposed to fight them? There was so much going on in there. That didn't seem right. How do I... Okay, how do I get rid of the... Oh, wait. Okay. I know what to do. Sorry, my brain just flickered on. Don't worry about it. That was on purpose. Can you flash dance the purple dudes? Yeah, that's what I was thinking of doing. Because there's like a little platform that it can't follow me past. So if I can round it up, bring it over to me, along with the noise. That was the wrong one. It was the wrong trousers grommet. There we go. And that allows me to just sort of leisurely fight this guy. So now we're thinking with portals. We weren't doing that before. But we are now. Oops. Okay. Oh no. Alright, it all, it all worked out in the end. I've never played Portal. You're right, I haven't. I've not played Portal. You're not wrong. I mean, if I can defeat him now, I may as well. Come on, buddy. Come on. Yeah. Excuse me. Try again, please. Aw, oh, I woke up the thing. There we go. Okay. This is fine. Ech. Ech. We made it. Portal, portal, portal. Put it in your mouth. No more enemies, right? I've, I've proven that I can play video games sufficiently. This is a beautiful ass mural. So let's see what we got here. We got some people worshiping mother, and there's a maybe that's ivory raining from the sky. Everything is bountiful. Uh, here she is coming in with the Valkyries of Pyramid Head. There's a there's a star worm. Everyone's worshiping a star worm. That guy, busy. What's he up to? All you got to do is like convince a bunch of people that you're a cool cult to join. And you can be Mother Slytherin, for sure. What's going on in here? I will forever burn in the hollows of space. Maybe with that attitude you will. Ferrier, isn't that the guy the forest was named after? The Ferrier Shockwood? That's interesting. What's he about? can't jump out the window. That guy has a worse headache than black. <laughs> you know? I think that's fair to say. All right, now we can go in here. Hey, it's the squad. Her actions have carved out my desire path. This guy is so weird. Who's the dude in the wheelchair? <laughs> I 
<laughs> Robin is such a sweet potato. Oh my gosh. I can't handle her. She's so adorable. Well, we've been playing a Metroidvania, so it hasn't really been all that linear. But I feel you. So this line of dialogue right here is basically the moral of this entire game, if you've been paying attention. That's true. Arcane, you've hit it on the head. That is who Robin B. Oh. Was that him? Was that was that the the he? Was that the he he? Cuz I know there's a star worm. He did not look like a star worm. Chrome is a weird cult anarchist. Yeah, he yeah, he just killed God. He just shot God right in the chest. Yeah, and unfortunately, every other character except Robin feels this exact same way. I found what I believe is the right future for all of us. That's literally every character's problem except Robin in this game. And, like, this dude is an absolute snake oil salesman. I don't know if he truly believes what he's saying, but he's basing this on the fact that one of Elro's syringes didn't explode him like a pizza pop. That's all he's basing it on. Just on that, that chemical reaction not activating in him means that the star worm, the star worm chose him. Warm. <laughs> the star worm is warm. Oh yeah, no, Black is the best character in this game, hands down. That is that is my opinion. And in this stream, my opinion is law. You still like Royal? Yeah, I mean, Royal means well, but he, he, man, his head is so far up his own bum. Now the fool seeks to undo the future that is a coup. I like how his little, his little simp is just kind of chillin'. Am I going to get Twitch banned now because I said that word? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Sasuke duck butt. Hey, Papa Beatloaf. Uh, Chrome just shot God to death, and now he's waxing philosophical about what the, what the true course of, of the world needs to be. Well, no, not not really like a standard JRPG, because Chrome's Chrome's idea isn't to destroy the world and remake it in his image, or 
cause world peace by killing everyone so no one can go to war or by taking over their minds so no one has the free will to start a war. He's just saying, like, shit's going to happen and I'm going to let it and that's the correct course of action. It's a very, uh, it's a very hands-off approach to RPG villainry. Yeah, Slytherin, you're right. You are absolutely right. A lot of a lot of uh, Final Fantasies have you kill God or or God-like creatures. Uh, Final Fantasy X is like a giant slap in the face of organized religion. It's actually kind of amazing to me that it it made it like it was localized in North America, considering the climate at the time. Uh, most RPGs that have you kill God are pretty uh, subtle about it. Uh, to the point where like Xenogears, which isn't subtle about it at all. Uh, almost didn't get localized in North America because of its extreme religious overtones and references to uh, to slaying God. So it's uh, it's pretty wild. It's pretty Buffalo Wild Wings. By the way, Xenogears is a phenomenal RPG. If you guys haven't played Xenogears, uh, if you hate reading, then maybe don't play it, but it's got one of the coolest battle systems a turn-based RPG I've ever played uh, has. Uh, the only game I would put above it, above its battle system, is maybe the the Trails in the Sky games. But even then, I think I like Xenogears better. But it is very, very word heavy. It is like eighty five percent text, fifteen percent game. So it's it's a, it's a lot of dialogue, and it's really thick dialogue too. It does not take it easy on you. It may as well be a visual novel. Yeah, kinda. It is a lot of text. Which I don't mind. I don't mind it at all. But, like, I learned a lot of really fancy words from playing Xenogears. I learned ostensible from uh, playing Xenogears. Ostensible means it seems like that. You know, so, like, you're listening to me stream right now. Ostensibly, I'm wearing clothes. <laughs> Who knows? Hyperdimension Neptunia, hold my beer. Elro's like, hold my beer, I, I'm missing an arm. No comment, the kitty. No comment. Is Hyperdimension Neptunia mostly dialogue? I didn't know that. I have never played a Neptunia game. Like, I'm relatively okay with RPG uh, protagonists being 15 years old, but that's the cutoff. Any younger than that, I just, I'm not interested in, in your story, man. Like, <laughs> live a little bit more life and then we'll see if you have a journey. Yeah, see, Chrome is very, like, just whatever happens, it'll happen, and that's what was meant to happen. He's not, like, Chrome hasn't really done much to shift anything. Sure, he shot an old man. <laughs> Who hasn't? But, you know, he's, uh, he's not your typical RPG uh, antagonist. Wow, you just got him with a second dose. And Chrome is like, ha, huh, you cannot harm me. I'm the goddamn juggernaut. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, Mr. Stark. Chrome doesn't feel so good. I mean, what's going on, Chrome? You were chosen by the Star Worm. What, what's, why are you all purple? 
Suddenly all of his purple pros mean nothing. And now he's just a purple mess. Lesson learned, children. Also, I love Pokemon. I don't care about the protagonists. The Pokemon are what's are the actual characters. It's worse the second time. <laughs> yeah. But that's the tape variety, not the moon variety. Well, he didn't explode due to worms. Uh, I think Elro basically concentrated the purple sand, which, like, cannot have ivory. Like, there's no... No ivory can exist around the purple sand. And so anything exposed to it has all the ivory sucked out of it. And these people are powered on ivory. So he got injected, basically, with a concentrated dose of the sand... Didn't do it the first time, but it definitely did it the second time. Dikitty, do you have a name for that cat? Arabella? That's Slytherin's name for it. That cat's been the, the main antagonist the entire time. Arabella? Alright, let's go. Arabella the cat. Sweet little floof monster. Chrome's dead. We're going home. <laughs> Roll credits. We were killing God too. Elrose found himself. <laughs> I'd, I'd say you he did. That's true. Elrose got some he's he's got some numbers, man. He's got a body count. He's been taking out agents like Wabam Wabam. Robin hasn't taken out a single one. Mina took out White. And Royal, well, he grows flowers. He's a sweet boy. So we're looking at the end of the world situation here. Not the best. Gotta say. As far as outcomes go, this, this could be... Less apocalyptic. The foliage is nice this time of year, though. I gotta say that. Alright, well, let's, uh... Alright. He's the... Whatever, I don't have to deal with him. So we do have enemies. We do have enemies. Let me, let me break some things. So I can get my tweaks back. I lost all my tweaks. Oh, oh, that's just a mine. That, and it has shrapnel, my favorite. Cool. Hold on, I, I'm just, hold on, I'm just trying to step on your head. Just let me, just go ahead and... What? Oh yeah, I gotta do it twice. <laughs> Whoops. Uh, okay, guess that doesn't work. I set up all these mines. It's extra weird with the statue smiling behind the mother tree. Mother tree is nasty and warty. She's a lot more gross than the mother tree in Hollow Knight, who is just horny. <laughs> she went to horny jail. Alright, so the solution to mines is bombs. This will be on the test. You love that hub category? Oh, hang on. There we go. Hey, baby. No! Yeah! 
is poetry. Oh. Ugh. It jumped out at me. I didn't like that. Who laid all these mines, by the way? Was it the police chief from Resident Evil 2? Alright, bye. Ah, nuts. Tried to risk it. Didn't work out. It was Samus. <laughs> Damn you, Samus! He needs to protect his trophies. Yeah, I, I think I read that the police chief in Resident Evil 2 is the one that drops all the items that you eventually pick up, like all the grenades and ammo and uh, herbs and stuff. That's what I read. Nyeh. But I feel like that's just Capcom trying to explain why there's like... Just like a, a ridiculous amount of helpful items littered all over the police station. Like things that you wouldn't even find in a police station. Well guys, we toured one city. And what a tour it was. I feel like we left the place better than, than when we found it. And really, you know, that, that's, that's all anyone could really hope for. We, we showed them our strong uh, environmental message, <laughs> and, and everybody's better for it. Let's just get on the hope train. Oh, you know, they just ripped my arm off. NBD. We came in, killed the people in power, and left. All in a day's work. <laughs> Oh, he's fine. They they wrapped it up. They wrapped his bloody stump up with some wrap. They dropped 16 bars. Hey, Mina took the cat with her. Arabella's on our team. <laughs> 16 bars for when the game ends by Robin having a rap battle with Eminem. You know who's going to win. You know it's Robin. The small moon. So Royal's plan is to go to the small moon, commune with him, and reason with him not to destroy the planet, because people aren't so bad after all. That, that's lovely, Royal. Hey, Infinite Jump Slash, welcome into the stream. Happy to have you here, man. How was your weekend? Tell me a story. Tell me what kind of dreams you had. How many poops? Ha <laughs> ha. 
<laughs> he's just an unstoppable comet of no consequence. I mean, you know, it's uh, we're, we're we're in the middle of a meteor situation, except the meteor is a giant star worm, as you do. You had some fucked up dreams, actually, too long and abstract to detail. Oh, well, I'll just imagine them then. You were drowning in a giant bowl of pudding. And, uh... Five poops? That's impressive. Damn, that's a lot of poops. Everyone follow Infinite Jump Slash, if only for the fact that he's so damn regular. Can we make that happen? Mina's done. Like, Mina is so done. She dinged, like, two hours ago. But we're Team Robin, man. We gotta do it. I just don't like having poop in me. <laughs> My body rejects the stuff. I can't handle it. I hate it. Okay, Dad. I mean, Elra's only got like half a handle of the situation anyway. Well, that's what people who never went to the moon said until we went to the moon. So, I mean, we've been to the moon a bunch of times. Twelve. Twelve people have stepped on the moon. The moon had its wish to be stepped on, <laughs> fulfilled twelve whole times. Allegedly, yeah. You'd be concerned for anyone whose body didn't eventually reject the stuff? I don't know, man. I don't know. I feel like there's some, some robots who are uh, powered by poop. That's just me, though. Like, I'm not, I'm not going to try and push my religion on anyone. That's just what I believe. Man, everybody hates Elro right now. <laughs> Everyone can vote except him. I, it's, it's not an interest, okay? I'm not interested. This whole poop conversation has gone horribly out of control. The world is about to end, guys. Let's focus here. The giant worm is hurtling through space. It's going to destroy everything and kill everybody. And you guys are talking about poop. <sighs> priorities, guys. Priorities. The wanting to be stepped on. <laughs> Am I driving it into the ground? I just think it's funny. I just think it's funny. The only kind of scat you want to talk about is the scat man. That song is fantastic. I used to be able to do the thing that he does at the beginning, that thing. You know, the scat thing that he did. I could do it. I don't think I can now, but I could. That's my one talent, and it's gone. All right, Elro's on board. We bullied him into it. Let's go to the moon! Oh my god, guys, we're gonna go to the moon. Hey, have, have you ever been to the moon? Oh man, it's the best. Oh god, these things seem to have multiplied since we were here like five minutes ago. What the shit is this? Look at them all. I'm not cleaning that up. That's not that's not on me. No thank you. Look at look at this. It's the squeezing in here. You literally call us pee pee poo poo. That's that's a different thing. That's that's not even like that's a temporary name. I'll change it. It's, it's a working title. All right, Mina, go all the way along this path to control room one. All right, so that's that's Mina. That's Mina's goal. Control room one. Royals on door patrol. Oh man, we got ourselves a squad. It's about to be gangbusters in here. Ah, uh, Mina, you weren't an asshole. I mean, you kind of were. You were a little bit of an asshole. You're pale Voyager. Why not call us Voyagers? Nah, dude. You're, it's 
Look, I, I need to figure it. I need to figure it out. But until I do, it's the pee pee poo poo squad. Everyone knows that. Everybody. How about the voyages? I don't know. That's not bad. I don't know if I want the word Voyager to be in there though. I'll I'll I'll, I'll brainstorm it. I'll brainstorm it. But uh, you know, you guys are are welcome to uh, you guys are welcome to join the Discord and uh, and join the 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 temporary uh, Pale Voyagers pee pee poo poo pad. I don't have a bot, so it just it's just me. <laughs> it's just me turning a crank. The Voya pee pee poo poos. That's a good compromise. Arcane Lancer, uh, if I did that, if I called it Pale Voyager and the Voyages, I think I'd be fulfilling my destiny as a lounge singer. And I don't, I don't know if I'm ready to do that yet. Compromise is how we can all get what we want. Is it? Is it, though? I feel like every, compromise is how everyone gets a less than desirable version of what they want. You know? Like, I'm sure Elero wanted both of his arms, and the compromise is that he lost one of them. And we're letting him get to control room two all by him by himself. This is actually a really cool part of the game. <laughs> You're just saying platitudes. <laughs> oh, carry on, carry on. Say them platitudes. Wow, Royal really turned into a leader all of a sudden. Let's get to that rocket. You heard the man. Oh man, this part is so cool. I can't wait. Reborns? What's a reborn? Mendeleev, Nobel, and who was the other guy? Is his name Panic? <laughs> Did I read that right, or is that just what's in my heart? This is actually normally when I would end the stream, but I will, I'll go through some of this. Here we go! Bam, baby. We get to play as Mina with the shotgun. I'm sorry, to Kitty. I apologize. This actually wasn't my plan. I thought there was a save point in that room and I was going to troll you all. Like, man, this part's so cool, guys. Anyway, thanks for coming to my stream, but it didn't work out that way. I got trolled. Oh, save point. <laughs> Thanks for coming to my stream, everybody. Yeah, we actually are going to end it here. Uh, all right, that works out. That, that was perfectly timed. That, that was all according to plan. I planned all of that. Everything. The fake out, the double fake out, and here we are. Okay, well, uh, thank you everyone who came to the stream. I appreciate you. Everyone who stayed, I appreciate you even more. If you like me, please follow me. Uh, you can follow me on Twitter, pale underscore voyager. There's not a whole lot going on there, but uh, it is one way that you can know when I'm streaming. Another way is to join the Discord, which I'm going to uh, put in the chat right here. Just uh, right, right on in there. Just get there. There you go. There's another one. Okay, there's the Discord. Um, the next stream is going to be on Thursday, I'm pretty sure. I might start it a bit early because there's a whole lot going on on Thursday, but the stream on, is on Thursday, 3 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. We're going to be doing more control, and uh, I, hope, I hope the Wednesday in between today and, and the next stream treat you nicely. Take good care of yourselves, and I'll see you on the next stream. Now, I'm going to raid someone really quick. I'm going to see if I can do that. I'm going to see if that is in my power. Who's streaming right now? Who dares? Who dares broadcast Wow, a lot of people. I've got a lot of choices. Holy cow. Uh, why don't we... 
Why don't why don't we uh, why don't we raid Fluffnir? He'll never expect it. Fluffnir is streaming. Oh, hello. There we go. Fluffnir is streaming uh, Genshin Impact right now. I think. My computer's not listening to me. Come on, I know you can do it. I believe in you. All right, we're streaming Fluffnir. Thanks everyone for coming, man. I, I appreciate it. Love you guys. That's it. Stream's over. Everybody out.